Uh, let's get ready for Monday Mortgage Minute with your hosts, Tom McNamara and Bruce Woodburn. Good morning. Good morning, Bruce. How are you doing today? Rock and roll, baby. Had a crazy week in the market last week. Had some good days, had some not so good days. Got a Fed meeting coming up uh, on the 26th, uh, 25th and 26th uh, of, uh, of this week. And uh, it's this week, uh, yeah, a couple days. Yeah. Yep. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, I would love to hear your. Hey, what's the uh, what's what's the over under on? Uh, are they are rates going up? Are rates going down? Are they going to stay neutral? What's the so over? They're going to raise the Fed rate a half a point. It's about a ninety nine half a point. Chance. They're going to raise it a half a point. Wow, about ninety nine percent. However, you have to keep in mind, you guys that are listening out there, it, we are a real estate mortgage uh, uh, a show here. So we're talking about the real deal. How is that going to impact mortgages? The the raise has already come. You saw interest rates go up for the last yeah. three and a half to four weeks. The reason it's gone up is because of the anticipation. So the day that the Fed makes the Fed hike is what gets people nervous because typically you'll see a little bit of a bump in rates that day. And then about a week to two weeks later, it starts to settle back down again because the half a point's already built into it. We've seen interest sure, rates sure. rise and they're up into the low sevens right now. That's about your national average. I'm still locking people in in the high sixes to low sevens, depending on your credit score. But that's really sure. where it is. But, you know, having said that, you know, what what do you think, Tom, the greatest apprehension for people jumping in the market is right now? Number one reason. I, I Well, I think, you know, obviously rates are high combined with high house prices, right? Um, people are scared that they're going to buy and lock themselves into something that they can't afford down the road. Yep. Okay. So higher, higher payments because of higher interest rates and escalating prices, right? So yep, absolutely. let's just, let's just dissect that for one second. So if you'll look over here on my screen, I went ahead and pulled up interest rates and I pulled them up to see what they looked like back to 1971. Okay. 1971, yep. they were at 7.65%. And if you look at this chart, they were higher than that all the way to right about 2006. Okay. I mean, what happened in 2006, Bruce? Oh boy. We had all the fun from the mortgage crash. Right. And then they started yep. to drop and they've dropped and dropped and dropped until you know, we saw the rock bottom hit there somewhere out, where around March of 2013. And then we saw it come down again, really low, as low as 2.7% uh, in December of 2021. That was the all time yeah, low. The, but you have to remember, in the pandemic, right? Tom, the federal government was buying mortgage backed securities to stimulate the market. They're not doing that anymore. So we have to look at the normal. So when people say interest rates are high, really high compared to what? High compared to everything after 2006? You're right. They are high. But in general, they're not high. They're actually below average if we look at the, the, the big scheme of things. And yep. so that, first of all, you still have to have affordability. So you still have to be able to qualify for a mortgage. Everyone gets that. You can't buy a home and just not be able to afford the payment. That would be foolish. But landlords are experiencing the same thing. They're getting insurance rates rising. So do you want to keep renting or do you want to own a home? Listen, it's all about perspective. And then if you look over here, I want to bring this other screen up. I had to do a little research and I thought this was pretty amazing enlightening. I pulled up data from 1942 to 2022. How many times do you think houses have depreciated in value? Well, I can, I can see there's uh, like six years, seven years total. Okay. Uh, we got seven. And a couple of them are even almost zero, right? We got several, seven total years in the last 80 years. That's a pretty darn good bet that you're not going to lose money. Seven in 80. And out of those seven, one was zero. So it really didn't decline. And one was uh -huh. negative one. The worst right. one was 20, 2008, which was right after a recession when it dropped by 12%. 
Okay. So we saw five, 12, four, four, four. Those were our worst years out of 80 years. Listen, your grandparents were born during this time frame. So look it. Are the odds in your favor that you're going to make money in real estate? There is no such thing as a rich renter other than maybe Grant Cardone and Elon Musk. Let's put those two aside and the rest of us live in the real world. Right. Right. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I encourage people every day, you know, don't, to, to avoid the hype, you know, I, I look at, I look at, I'm looking at articles to, to write things and understand what's going on in the market. And you can go out and Google search. You can, you can Google search for housing market is going to crash and you'll find tons of in, in information out there supporting that claim. Right. And it, and it's got valid information in there. And then you can go search for housing market is going to boom. And you'll find plenty of articles telling you all about how over the next decade houses are going to go up and why, and it has great information in there. Right. You can find, anything you want by doing a Google search to support whatever preconceived notion you have, sure. right? You can argue both sides of that coin, but let's just break that down into realistic expectations. I don't, I'm listen, I'm a 10th grade dropout. I don't have a finance degree. All right. But yep. I can tell you I'm good at math and I'm good at common sense. Now, when there's no inventory and we have an increase in population, that means that you're going to have a demand on the product. That alone tells me that houses are going to continue to go up in value. And you're seeing it already. You're already seeing multiple offers on properties on a day-to-day -day basis. Every, every house I put up, unless, unless it's priced completely wrong, um, or in there's a couple of areas where houses aren't selling as quick, but every single house that I put up for sale that's priced right, I get two, three, five offers on. It's not the crazy 2021 where I was getting 40 and 50 offers on them, but I'm getting more than I should. But listen, right? three for those of you that are listening to this show out there, think about this. Why isn't he getting 20 offers right now? There's only one reason you're not getting 20 and you're only getting five. But five is more than waiting 30 days and having none. I mean, a right. normal market is you could go 30 to 60 days with a house on the market, not have it sold. That's well, a, a balanced market, Bruce, is six months of inventory. And we're we're down at two. Yep. We're below we're actually a little bit below. I think we're lower where, than like, that. But yeah. the reason you're not getting 20, Tom, is that interest rates are higher than what people think they should be or what makes yep. them comfortable. So they're just not used to it. But put yourself in this position. When Trump left office, gas was a $1.98. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now it's three fifty, but it got up to close to five bucks, four bucks, something like that. Right. So yeah. mm -hmm. what did people do? They're like, Oh my God, they put all the stickers on the gas pump saying this is Biden's fault and all that crap. Right. Whether it is or isn't, this is not a political show. I'm just, I'm just pointing out that now they drop to three and a half. And when they go to 325, it's like, oh my God, I can get gas for 325. It's, it's just, yeah. it's your perception. It's all relative. But I can yeah, tell you absolutely. one thing, absolutely. you buy a house in this market, you can see the charts. The charts show the history. They're tea leaves. It's going to increase in value. You're not going to lose money. You're not going to lose money. We're not going to go into a mortgage crash. And even if we saw a recession, which we could very well see here coming up in the next year, because inflation is still not under control. We could see a recession, but that's okay. Recessions are just corrections. I think, that, well, I think that's going to come. And Bruce, a lot of, a lot of people, especially young people that haven't been through a multiple uh, cycles, right? They think recession equals housing price crashes because that's what happened last time. And reality is we've had five recessions over the past few decades. And only two of them prices came down at all. Sure. Right. And one of them was actually the one, the big one caused by the mortgage yeah, market. The only one so, that I can see on here where we really lost any value after a recession was from the 2007 chart. If we look at that and we go back to these other recessions that show up in here, we actually, yeah, saw, the gray areas we actually are saw appreciation right? after that happened. Right. So well, that's we, what happens most of the time. It does yeah. happen most, most of, of the time. time during a recession. You actually see appreciation. Right. So, you know, 
uh, the recession is just a correction. It's just moving money around. Yep. So absolutely. Listen, absolutely. Uh, I want you guys to think about this. Don't sit on the sidelines of life. Get in there. I know housing payments may be a little bit less affordable for you right now, but keep it simple. Buy real estate. There's always a reason to move. There's always somebody that needs to sell. And if you truly want to buy a home, you are going to be able to get a home. There will be a home hey, for Bruce, you. And I'm, and I'm working with a bunch of buyers from that last Hometown Hero seminar that we did. And the, that program is working wonders. It's getting people in homes that couldn't otherwise afford it to begin with. And, you know, if you're if you're not taking advantage of everything that's out there, you're you're missing out. man. I agree. One hundred percent. Yep. And I got hey, it. I got a, I got a boogie, man. It's a it's going to be a long day. I got a lot going yep. on. But all uh, right. We'll see you. We'll see you next Monday, man. All right. I'll see you next week. Yeah.